So we come back over to here and in our common plugins, instead of adding the dynamic content gallery, we'll add SH Slideshow and hit save. Now if we come down and look at SH Slideshow, uh, which I believe is installed. Uh, yeah, SH Slideshow is installed. Good. So I've already got it configured to be 600 pixels wide and 250 pixels tall. I have transition speed and stop time and different fade effects and all the rest of that kind of stuff is set up. And I also have the various images for each slide uh, selected. Again, I'm not going to uh, go through all the possible ways of setting this up. I do have plenty of videos on the site that show how to, to style the SH Slideshow. What we're just going to do is show how to use it in this context. So anyway, it's all set up and it's configured. And if we come over to our page and refresh it, now what we have is the Slideshow sitting in this place. And it looks like under the circumstances we might want to add a couple more pixels of height to this. You know, I think what's happening here is that the slideshow itself centers itself in the available space. So if we want this to come all the way over to the edge, what we're going to have to do is add some right padding to push this over. And I'm going to start off by, um, well, let's actually, let's go measure how much padding I think I need to add to this. or margin actually I think I probably need to add something in the range of 50 pixels of margin so let's try that over to the feature box go to margin here and let's give ourselves 50 pixels of right margin and see what happens Yeah, that is pretty close. Maybe 52. Let's just say 52. Let's say 22 here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now we've got the SH Slideshow again over here on the side. Now, something that we can choose to do here is we can choose to add drop shadow to this. So if we come back over here like that and we go back to our drop shadow and let's just say three pixels and three pixels again. Hit save. Probably have to monkey with this just a little bit to get it be perfect. Yeah, because you can see there's a little white line right there. Let's add 5 and 5 and let's add one more pixel to the margin here. So take drop shadow and do 5 and 5. And add one more pixel to the margin. So 53 pixels. I bet you that gets rid of our white line. Well, not quite, but just about. So now, anyway, we've got this displayed down there, uh, this little drop shadow going on here. And we could, if we wanted to, add a border around this. So if we come over to our borders, we could say, let's add a one pixel border. And let's get a darker border, like that, maybe. And refresh this. So now you've got a nice hard line around that if you wanted. If you don't want that hard line, or if you want a hard white line, which I think is kind of an interesting look, you could choose to do white here. So now you've got that white edge on both sides than the shadow below and maybe if you're doing that you want a little bit darker shadow and so uh, if we come over to our shadow maybe the thing here to do is to just come down a little further hit save refresh it okay and there we go now we got a little bit more shadow we've got a little bright white border 
you know, it's a fairly a attractive application of the plugin. 